everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. The talk show host Sharon Osbourne has been facing a lot of backlash after she lashed out at her co-host Cheryl Underwood. CBS even had to temporarily shut the talk down to do quote unquote further investigation of Sharon's comments. To make matters worse, the actress Holly Robinson Pete exposed Sharon for calling her ghetto. And I'm gonna talk about that later on in this video. But this whole mess started all because Sharon stuck her neck out to defend the controversial media personality, Pierce Morgan. Now, last week, Pierce Morgan stepped down from Good Morning Britain after he received thousands of complaints for being dismissive of Meghan's experience with the royal family. Now, if you didn't watch the whole interview that Meghan and Prince Harry did with Oprah, Meghan revealed very shocking claims about the royal family. She claimed that they had conversations about her baby's skin tone being too dark. She also talked about how the royals played a role in smearing her name in the press. Not only that, she was unprotected her baby was denied a title and protection also she went through a very dark mental breakdown and the royal family would not help her and it seemed like the royal family treated her a certain way because she is biracial now the whole monarchy is a very problematic institution and they've been called out for their racially unjust practices but people like pierce morgan was defending the royal family and calling megan a liar and it says a lot that people like him would rather defend a problematic institution than be compassionate to a woman who was unprotected and mentally broken down and discriminated against. That to me speaks volumes. And at this point, anybody who defends the monarchy more than likely identifies with their problematic stances. Now, one thing about Pierce Morgan is he's not gonna hide his feelings at all, but there are some people who will hide their feelings under the guise of something else. And I wanna bring up Sharon Osbourne because Sharon actually spoke out in support of Pierce Morgan and she said that the only reason why she supported him was because he was her friend and she believed that he has the right to speak his opinion. I don't believe this at all. I believe that Sharon low-key agrees with the sentiments that Pierce Morgan was making. People have to realize that Sharon Osbourne is an older white British woman. Deep down inside, she supports the monarchy as well because it's a part of her culture. But she's not like Pierce. I think she's a little more cowardly, so she's not gonna outright defend the monarchy against Meghan's claims. But she did support Pierce Morgan, and I low-key feel like she did that because she low-key agrees with what he was saying. And listen, I could be misjudging her, but that's just the perception that I got. I don't understand how Sharon could stick her neck out for Pierce after the comments he made. That to me didn't seem like she was just supporting a friend. That to me seems like she was supporting his views as well, but that's just my opinion. Now I want to talk about the very uncomfortable moment that happened on the talk between Sharon and her co-host Cheryl Underwood. Sharon was really defensive and upset over the backlash she was getting after supporting Pierce. And Cheryl Underwood was very respectful and she tried to give Sharon the opportunity to address people who thought that she shared the same racial views that Pierce Morgan did. And Sharon spazzed out on Cheryl for no reason at all. I, am, I, I feel even mm -hmm. like uh, I'm about to be put in the electric chair because I have a friend who many people think is a racist, so that makes me a racist. And for me, at 68 years of age, to have to turn around and say, I ain't racist. What's well, it got I, to do with me? I'm well, Okay, well, how can I be racist about anybody? How can I be racist about anybody or anything in my life? How can I? Well, 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 I well tell what? You, we will be right well, back. What? We have more topics, so don't go away. And I think we don't should go. stop this That we are doing live TV right now. But I want you to hear from me. I will me. ask you again, Cheryl. Yes. I've been asking you during the break. Right. I am asking you again. And don't try and cry, because if anyone should be crying, it should be me. This is the situation. Yes. You tell me where you have heard him say, educate me. Tell me when you have heard him say these things. Majesty, but I only drink yang yang dong dong yang ming ming. No. No. Pierce. Educate me. Tell me. 
it, it is not the exact words of racism. It's the implication and the reaction to it. To not want to address that because she is a black woman and to try to dismiss it or to make it seem less than what it is, that's what makes it racist. But, but right now, I'm talking to a woman who I believe is my friend. And I don't want anybody here to, to l watch this and say that we're attacking you for being and, and, and that and, and for that, if I articulate it, I think it's anything, too late. I think that okay. seed's already sown. Now you heard how hostile Sharon was to Cheryl. And I have to give it up to Cheryl for being very composed and very professional. And it's really unfortunate to see Sharon lash out at Cheryl for no reason at all. And then for her to say, don't you dare cry. I'm the one who should be crying. To me, that just showed her ugliness. And Cheryl really tried. She tried to speak to Sharon as a friend, but see, Sharon did not give her that same respect. Honestly, I don't think Sharon considers Cheryl a friend. Her energy towards Cheryl was very different from her energy towards Pierce, if you notice, but that's no surprise, of course. Now, the actress Holly Robinson Pete, who used to be a co-host on The Talk, actually exposed Sharon and she tweeted this, I'm old enough to remember when Sharon complained that I was too quote unquote ghetto for the talk. Then I was gone. I bring this up now because I was mortified watching the disrespectful condescending tone she took with her co-host who remained calm and respectful because she had to. That's right, Cheryl had to because if she as a black woman were to be emotional or raise her voice the way Sharon did, she would be looked at as a bully or looked at as aggressive. So yeah, she had to compose herself, unfortunately. But what Holly revealed was very telling. And I'm not surprised, to be honest. I'm not surprised that Sharon has shown microaggressive behavior. But see, this is the thing. Sharon is not gonna be overt with her true feelings. She's not gonna be overt with her racial insensitivity because it's not politically correct. But please believe, she's no different from a Pierce Morgan. She just hides it better. And Leah Remini actually confirmed what Holly Robertson Pete said years ago. She tweeted that Sharon told her and Holly that they were too ghetto. And interestingly enough, both Leah and Holly were booted from the show after the first season. Now, Sharon did respond to Holly's claims and she said this on Twitter. In response to Holly Robertson Pete's accusation of me getting her fired from the talk, I am sharing an email sent to me from Holly one month after she was let go by CBS. As I've stated before, I have never had the ability or authority to get anyone fired from the talk. And she attached the email. I'm not gonna read everything in the email, but Holly seemed to be very distressed because CBS was blackballing her and she was trying to get some support from Sharon and her other co-hosts, but they never returned her calls. And nowhere in the email was there proof that Sharon didn't make that comment about Holly being too ghetto. Sharon tried to deny Holly's claims, but a writer for New York Magazine and HuffPost named Yashar Ali actually put Sharon on blast. He tweeted this, a few years ago, I did a lot of reporting on CBS and the talk. Here's what I know. Three months after Holly sent this email, she learned about Sharon's role in her ouster at the show and sent another email holding her accountable. This is an incomplete record of events. So Sharon didn't post the other email where Holly called her out for getting her fired and calling her too ghetto, but she posts the initial email to make herself seem like the victim. But see, Sharon is not a victim, she's a culprit. And I'm glad people are starting to see her for her true colors because she's a snake. And honestly, I don't believe that she cares all that much for black people. Yashar brought up an interview that she did back in 2013 with Daily Beast. And she kind of associated Justin Bieber's bad behavior with him wanting to be black. She told the Daily Beast, I really feel bad for him. There's this little kid with a huge dream. He's cute, girls love him, and he wants to be a mean boy. And he's about as mean as a kitten. And he's trying to act out. It's like pissing in a bucket. It's like, oh, we're the bad boys, F off. You don't know what bad is. And I think that he's lost, I really do. I think he doesn't realize that he's white and not black. And that's a huge problem. So you don't even have to read between the lines with that one. She basically associated bad to being black. 
And I have to go back to the ghetto comment she made about Holly. I don't even see how Sharon can fix her mouth to call somebody like Holly ghetto. What is ghetto about Holly? Honestly, truly, how is she ghetto? How is Leah ghetto? If anybody is ghetto, it's Sharon and her family. Sharon pooped in her garden and blamed it on the dog. Sharon also admitted that she used to deliver boxes of her children's poo to different people. I used to get one of the kids to crap in a box. <laughs> And I would put it in a Tiffany box. Hey. Wow. 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 Yeah, well, and then I would have it delivered to Victor. <laughs> Who did you deliver it to? Loads of people. <laughs> so you have Sharon Osbourne admitting to doing ghetto nasty stuff. And she has the nerve to call Holly Robinson Pete ghetto. Girl, bye. I hope CBS continues to investigate Sharon because something about her is just not right in my book. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.